Well, thank you, Nancy and Preeti. Good morning, everyone. Let's now have a look at the top lines in the finance world first. All telecom operators in the national capital have call drops beyond the stipulated benchmark of 2% of all calls. Situation is similar across many other cities. This is said in a survey report conducted by Telecom Regulatory Authority of India across 12 major cities in India. National policy for the micro, small and medium enterprises, MSMEs, which seeks to boost the overall growth of the sector, is expected to be released by the year end of this year. MSME Minister Kaldaj Mishra said a committee headed by former Cabinet Secretary Prabhat Kumar is drafting the policy. May 2016 car sales out. Car makes the double-digit growth in domestic sales, riding on new models and better consumer sentiment. Car sales expected to increase on back of good monsoon in the coming months too. Food Safety Regulator FSSAI has extended the deadline for food companies to get a license to run their businesses by another three months to August 4th. This decision has been taken after receiving representations from various stakeholders including food companies and industry associations. <coughs> well, those are the top lines and moving on, Finance Minister Arun Jaitley has been in overdrive mode in Japan to woo the investors. Just a day after India's impressive GDP numbers came out, FM said to the top CEOs of Japanese companies that the coming years will see even better numbers, improved ease of doing business and higher purchasing power. He clearly said the time to invest in India is enough and anyone who doesn't will miss the bus. He also said that the process of reforms will continue and expressed hope that GST will be passed in the monsoon session and it will boost economic growth further. Finance Minister Jaitley also highlighted the strength of Japanese technology and Indian demography. Let's now move across to the global markets to begin with the United States markets. The US stocks recovered losses to close a touch higher yesterday, helped by an intraday recovery in oil prices and better than expected manufacturing data. In fact, traders were also attributing some of the late session gains to the first of month inflows. Moving on to the European markets, the European markets were uh, slightly down yesterday. Investors uh, were concerned over a potential United Kingdom exit of the European Union uh, and it, that continued to weigh on the markets after the la latest opinion polls showed that the Brexit campaign has taken a surprise lead in the EU referendum just a few weeks ahead of the polling date. So European markets, both FTSE 100 and also uh, the uh, uh, German DAX were completely down by between 0.57 to 0.62%. Moving on to the Asian markets today, Asian shares are uh, st steady as, well as uh, Wall Street egged out modest gains after the latest batch of US data provided a few clues that on when the Federal Reserve might raise rates, while a resurgent yen on in the Japan actually pressured the equity markets in Japan. So that is how we can see a sort of mixed note in Asian markets. Indian markets, uh, benchmark Sensex and Nifty resumed their upward march spurred by the rally in FMCG technology and oil and gas stocks as actually buying activity re emerged on the robust GDP numbers and core infrastructure sector growth. So that's the reason we can see this. But then there are some sort of flat queues that are coming from the global markets. We'll have to see whether the domestic queues will be riding the markets or the global queues will have impact on the Indian markets. Well, that's all in finance.